So in this video, we're going to be talking about natal Aquarius sun in the sixth house and what this placement means. So if you have it in your natal chart, then this is the right video for you. And we'll be talking about what this placement means in terms of your ego, your sense of value to others, and just how you see yourself and also your personality and how you come across to others, especially how your actions come across to others, because that is what the sun shows. And it shows also how we shine in the world or how we feel that we have an impact or that we matter. So when you have the sun in Aquarius, which is the sign of groups, friends, and the collective, it's it's all about participation. And Aquarius sun feels that their ego is um their ego is the things that they are a part of or that they participate in um and so that's also what makes aquarius such a unique individual as well because what makes us unique is the things that we participate in or that that uh, the trends that we are part of versus the trends or the things that we don't. And Aquariuses are very self-aware of what it is that they're um, participating in with their actions. And this is more of like a subconscious feeling that they have because their ego revolves around, you know, what they're a part of. The, their ego revolves around their society, their collective, their groups that they're a part of. So they're very aware of what it is um, they are participating in with their actions, their clothing, everything that they do. So um, next, we're going to talk about what it means in the sixth house. Um, the sixth house is all about service. And Aquarius is also about being a participant or being helpful or being a humanitarian. So if I had to sum this placement up in one sentence... Um, this shows somebody that is a service-oriented participant or somebody that is actively participating in acts of service um, or in work to progress humanity. Um, and this can be through the form of their career or um, it could also just be humanitarian interests that they have. But their ego... Um, when they have the sun in the sixth house in Aquarius is the acts of service that you partake in or the change or difference that you feel you are making with your everyday actions and life. Um, because Aquarius is about progress and it's about change. Um, it's about innovation. And the sixth house is about mundane life and it's about our routine and it's about our work life as well. So when it comes to... Uh, this placement, you have the gift of being aware of the grand scheme or the goal that you are participating in with your everyday actions and choices, health, wealth, and otherwise. Um, you're a futurist, you're an idealist, but you realize that the future begins with what we do now and that creating the future begins with our real actions and our circumstances of right now. So therefore, you're not a daydreamer because you feel like there's a lot of work to do and a lot of holes to patch. And you are also great at materializing goals for this reason. And that's a strength that you likely realized in your childhood. Um, for the first time, like as a child, you realize that you're very good at achieving long term goals or um, making something happen. And um, usually you have a very resourceful and intelligent approach to life with this placement. And um, you're a humanitarian and sometimes you participate in other people's lives unconsciously to them. And you feel you have a mission and responsibilities that include the need to serve or to put in work as a participant. Uh, because the sixth house is about work and you have it in the sign of Aquarius, which is about participation or goals. And um, the sun is about your ego. So when it comes to group work or when it comes to your team at work, you 
have this duty or this sense of responsibility that um, is your ego and you feel like you need to help serve. Um, now, the sun also shows our value to others because it rules Leo um, and it rules the fifth house. And those are about our value to others. And it's about validation. Um, and th that's why it can show this um, as well. But your value to others um, tends to be your your helpfulness. And when it comes to your personality, people see you as somebody that is friendly and um, service oriented. Um, you're also usually a great conversationalist with this placement because um, you will try to pick others apart or understand the logic behind people's interests and their unconscious actions. So as a result, you could make a great psychologist or an investigator. You can be quite self-critical of your work. And um, when it comes to careers, which the sun helps an astrology an astrologer see in the natal chart um, because it shows passions or things that we always have energy for because the sun is about a constant state of energy in astrology um, when it comes to your work uh, this can show people that make great doctors or that do well in any highly technically oriented careers or technically skilled careers um, one of your talents is that you're very technically skilled. Um, you're very good at understanding technicalities, um, rules, and like basically understanding cause and effect. Um, so this can make good programmers as well and just engineers and people that are technically skilled. Um, on a side note, with this placement of the sun being in the sixth house, which is about particularities and it's about criticism and sometimes perfectionism um you can be a perfectionist yourself but you also hold others to high standards and you can be critical of others um especially of the future that they are creating for themselves because aquarius is about the future and so part of your actions is that you see the long-term results of everything that you do and you also see this in others so you're very critical of others especially of the future that they're creating for themselves with their actions. And more importantly, the future they're creating for everyone because you see things as part of a collective. Um, and also you're critical of the things and the trends that they are participating in. Um, sometimes that they are giving power to with their actions uh, because you feel like it affects yourself and you can't shake that feeling of being tied to the collective or the choices that other people make as well. And this is something that is very particular and it's not something that everybody relates to or experiences, but you just feel very tied to other people's choices and actions and how they affect everyone else. Um, now, on a side note, um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is that this placement shows that you also have the gift of logic and practical advice um, and helping others with their long-term goals. Um, because even as a child, you realize you're very good at achieving a goal that is in the future and making it um, happen. Um, so you're good at helping others with that, especially with health, their wealth, or anything otherwise. And when it comes to advice, yours is the most sound and straightforward and honest but also it's the least exciting in practice. But if people heed your advice and they exercise persistence, it has a 100% success rate. And that's how you like to figure your own decisions as well. And that's ultimately what makes you such a great goal achiever with this placement of um, the sun in the sixth house in the sign of achievements and higher goals, which is Aquarius. Um, Aquarius can show higher goals or humanitarian goals uh, or the future. And the sixth house is about materializing things. So that basically covers everything that I wanted to uh, for this video. I hope it was insightful and that you guys enjoyed. And if this resonated in any way, 
or you saw yourself in this video, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel uh, if you'd like to see more content. Um, and share this video with somebody you know that has displacement. Um, other than that, um, I appreciate you guys watching and supporting in any way that you do. And I will see you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.